Arts District Liberty Station is staying true to its name. The NTC Foundation recently unveiled its newest art installations. So joining us live is local Mexican American artist Scarlett Bailey, who has been selected to paint a 2,535 foot square foot mural illustrating the vibrant history of San Diego. So congratulations. I mentioned this is extra special because we went to high school together mm -hmm. and we're just bumping into each other here. So congratulations on your success. I've always known that you have just this true talent. And so I'm so glad that you're doing something this big with it. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jenny. You're it's welcome. so rad. It's so cool to be here. And yes. I'm so happy to talk about my new mural. It's called Home. Okay. So essentially, you know, this mural talks about my homecoming back to San Diego yes. and really investigates uh, what is that sensation of home? What are the yes. things that make you feel like you're home? What are those magical experiences where you feel super connected to the land? Yes. And this mural has been truly a magical experience. I've uh, had an incredible opportunity to get back in touch with my own indigenous roots and really talk about the origin stories of San Diego and maritime culture and, wow. you know, on a huge scale, which yeah. is so exciting. We're seeing some of your, your work here. Um, can you share what you will be painting there or will surprise? Yeah, <laughs> of course. You know, musicians have concerts and artists have murals. Yeah. So this is actually really a spectator sport. And I love this so much because everyone gets to come and see the making of from a white wall to a yeah. vibrant, saturated, yes. uh, illustrated wonderland in Technicolor. So this mural features a lot of nature, a lot of San Diego okay. local, locals like gray whales, yeah. osprey, mm -hmm. seagulls. And the cover story of this mural really talks about a warm embrace. I feel like after the pandemic, we've been so isolated and yeah. separated and I want to capture the sensation of actually being held and this feeling of uh, you know really coming home and being embraced yeah. by loved ones after being far away from a long time. I'm so glad that it's you doing it. No one is better. <laughs> Tell me more about just your your background as an artist. You are so talented. Yeah well you saw it all in I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you've been at this for a while. Yeah <laughs> yeah I mean I've been painting since I could hold a paintbrush yes. and uh, one really exciting part for me for this mural is you know as an artist it's a huge responsibility to give back to the community. Yeah. And when I leave this mural behind, it's really a gift for everybody else. So wow. I I studied muralism in Mexico. I actually just moved back in January. And there's when I really learned, you know, of course, honing in on my technique, yeah. but the responsibility of an artist is really to create something that speaks to the people. And my intention for this mural is not only to create a vibrant meeting place, but to really heal people through yeah. art and to create this sense of awe and amazement yeah. that that uh, really grounds us and builds mm -hmm. a community. It brings so much color, so much life to the community. Like you said before, it'll be a, a white wall. So you are going to bring so much to this area. Talk to me more, more about your technique and, and your passion is just so obvious. Yeah, yes. of course, of course. Well, I work super old school. Okay. Everything starts on a really small scale. And then I pass that grid onto the wall, which makes it really easy for community painters to come out and help me. Yeah. Um, and actually before the pandemic, I was painting in black and white. And okay. now this is very saturated in color. Um, I am working full time from eight to four every okay. day. <laughs> I invite everybody to come out and see me and say hi. Yeah. Uh, I should be turning the mural by the end of the month in October. So. It's a very strenuous process. It's very sure. physical. Working on this scale is crazy. Um, I'm even painting the ceiling, so when you guys come by, you're gonna have to be sure to look up and see the surprises that are in yeah. every corner of this mural. And and share exactly where it is so people can kind of come and see the progression because it'll you, you know it'll start to develop over time and really come to life. Yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, uh, come visit me at Liberty Station. I'm between Barracks 14 and 15. You can't miss it. Okay. Just look okay. for the color. <laughs> yeah, and I would love to chat with you. You know, painting this project for me has been so healing in getting in touch with my own yeah. inner child and my own dreams. And 
I, I didn't have a lot of opportunity to work on this scale when I was dreaming of becoming an artist. And so I love meeting young aspiring artists. I love sharing what it's mm -hmm. like to work like this and, yeah. and to let the community know that this is a job and this right. is something that is possible and there are future artists everywhere in San Diego. So come and chat with me. Yeah, elaborate on what it means to you, anything else you'd like the public to know and share, but um, I'm just, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Yeah, I think one of the most exciting parts, you know, I've always loved, um, I'm a surfer and I've always loved the beach. And one of the coolest discoveries for me during the research was getting back to the origins and uh, really the Kumeyaay Maritime culture in San Diego that's yes, so strong that sure. has been you know thriving for tens of thousands of years. I had mm -hmm. an exciting opportunity to, to work with uh, the Kumeyaay Community College and Dr. Awesome. Stan who taught me how to construct Thule boats and wow. we actually took them out sailing in, in Crown Point. So for me that was so incredible to uncover this really rich tradition in San Diego. Well, so excited to see what you do with that space. Truly just such a talent and um, congratulations on your success. No Thank one's better you. to do this. So be sure you check it out at Liberty Station and um, just so great to catch up with yeah. you, Scarlett Bailey. <laughs> um, shout out to Grossmont High School. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yes, just congratulations. Excited to see what you do with yes, it. Yes, come visit. Yes, we're back right after this.